Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. Recently, on our channel, we posted a video addressing the intriguing genetic history of the ancient Israelites, and we were pleased with the reception it had among you. Therefore, I decided to bring another video, now exploring the enigmatic genetics of the various Arab peoples and their different tribes. Are you familiar with the genetics, history, and linguistics of the Arab peoples? In this new content, I will focus my attention mainly on the genetic analysis of the ancient tribes that still resonate in contemporary the Middle East, the Ishmaelites, the Edomites, the Midianites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, and the Joktanites, descendants of Joktan. I hope you enjoy this video more on our channel. Don't forget to leave your likes, comments and subscribe, as well as share this video with anyone who may be interested in the ancient genetics of people. The Mysterious Hidden DNA of the Arabs Before delving into the study of the various genetic lineages of the Arab tribes, it is important to clarify a misconception that many people have about this community. Commonly, when asked about the origin of the Arabs, most will respond that they descend from Ishmael, as mentioned in the Bible. However, it is necessary to understand that, both in Arab and Jewish tradition, genealogies are more complex than this simplification. Ishmael certainly is an ancestor of various Arab tribes, but he is not the only progenitor. Other biblical figures, such as Esau, Midian, Ammon, and Moab, also contributed to the formation of these tribes. Uh, furthermore, there are figures such as Caton, Caton in Arabic and Joktan in Hebrew, whose descent differs from that of Ishmael and is linked to the lineage of Shem. Ancient and medieval Arabs were aware of these distinctions in their genealogies, recognizing the diversity of their origins. Another point I would like to address with all of you is this, Arabs, in general, are part of the Semitic ethnic group, the same ethnic group as Jews, Syrians, Assyrians, Chaldeans, Arameans, and other peoples of the Middle East, such as the Akkadians. This ethnic connection with the Israelites and Jews establishes a genetic relationship, not only in terms of ethnicity but also linguistically. It is well documented that Arabic is linguistically related to Aramaic and various other languages of the Middle East. While many think that the Ishmaelites were the first Arabs, in reality, before them, there were several Arab tribes in southern Arabia, known as the Cathanite tribes. The Cathanites were descendants of Caton, which is Joktan in Hebrew, and medieval Arab genealogists had the knowledge to distinguish between the descendants of Ishmael and the southern Arabian descendants of Caton. Interestingly, the biblical Joktan himself is referred to as Caton in Arabic tradition. I would like to read a bit about this now for all of you. In the book of Genesis, chapter 10, verse 24, we find, Arphaxad the son of Shem, the son of Noah, begot Kainan, and Kainan begot Shelah, who begot Heber. Heber had two sons, one called Peleg, for in his days the land was divided, and his brother was called Joktan. It is from this Joktan that the southern Arabian tribes descend. Joktan became the father of Almadad, Shalef, Hazarmaveth, Jera, Hadaram, Yuzel, Dikla, Obal, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havila, and Jobab. All these are the descendants of Joktan, and his various sons gave rise to the tribes of southern Arabia. Right after the Cathanite Arabs, also known as Joktanite Arabs, we have the famous Ishmaelite Arabs, descendants of Ishmael, son of Abraham. The Ishmaelites emerged with Ishmael as their progenitor, giving rise to about 12 Arab tribes known as Ishmaelites. Thus, in a historical count, we can affirm that the Ishmaelites are, in fact, the second and not the first Arabs, since there were already Arabs descended from Joktan. Continuing the discussion about the various Arab tribes and peoples, after the Ishmaelites, we have the descendants of Lot, who formed two nations, the famous Moabite and Ammonite Arabs. Both the Moabites and the Ammonites are considered Arabs. The Moabites and Ammonites originated from the episode in which Lot's daughters lay with their own father, intoxicating him, as reported in Genesis, chapter 19, from verse 30 to 38. Additionally, 
We have knowledge about approximately six Arab tribes descended from Abraham, from his second wife, Keturah. These tribes are Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua, with the most famous being the Midianite tribe, whose name ended up being attributed to all the other tribes. Finally, there are another 14 Arab tribes described in the book of Genesis, chapter 36, from verse 15 onwards, known as tribes descended from Isaac through his son Esau. Esau was the father of all the Edomites, and the tribal leaders of Esau included Taman, Omar, Zepho, Kenas, Korah, Gadam, Amalek, along with others like Nahath, Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah, as well as Jush, Jalam, and Korah, completing the 14 Edomite Arab tribes. Now, I would like to discuss three Arab populations in the Middle East that possess these genetic characteristics I mentioned, related to various biblical figures. Starting with Jordan and its people, which biblically is known as the Land of Edom, or also called the Land of Uz, as described in the Book of Job. Intriguingly, we know that over centuries and millennia, various populations, mainly Semitic, have settled in the region that now comprises Jordan. Initially, the Ammonites and the Moabites were the first to settle in Jordan, followed by the 14 Edomite tribes, whose genetic presence still endures in the local Arab populations, which also include the Nabataeans, descendants of Nebaioth through Ishmael. Based on studies conducted by Arab geneticists, it is observed that approximately 73.2% of the DNA of present-day Jordanians corresponds to Semitic genetic material, originating from the Moabites, Ammonites, and Ishmaelites. Furthermore, in some Jordanians, approximately 63% of ancient Semitic DNA is identified, coming from the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, and Ishmaelites who historically inhabited and continue to inhabit the region, thus constituting the current Jordanian population. In addition to Jordanian Arabs, who have about 73% of their DNA derived from the Ishmaelites, Edomites, Moabites, and Ammonites, there is another population in the Middle East worthy of mention, the Palestinian Arabs. These individuals prefer to be called Palestinian Arabs, and out of respect for this preference, we refer to them as such. Analysis of Palestinian Arab Semitic DNA reveals that approximately 73% of the genetic heritage of present-day Palestinians dates back to the Bronze Age, coming from various Semitic populations that settled in the region. Among these populations, the Ishmaelites and the Edomites stand out, along with other communities, but it is important to note that the presence of the Ishmaelites and the Edomites is especially significant among Palestinian Arabs, representing a substantial part of their genetic heritage. Many people question whether Palestinians, or Palestinian Arabs, have any ancestry from the ancient Philistines, and the answer is yes. Palestinian Arabs have a small portion of their ancestry derived from the ancient Philistines, although this contribution is not the majority. In DNA analyses of Palestinians, this Philistine heritage represents approximately 15%. On the other hand, the predominant fraction of Semitic Arab DNA, which encompasses the Ishmaelites, Edomites, and various other Semitic populations, is referred to in English as Levantine Neolithic Farmer. I prefer to call it a major fraction of the Semitic lineage, as all Semitic peoples carry this genetic inheritance. All Arab tribes, including the ancient Israelite tribes, carry this heritage, as do the Palestinians. Furthermore, it is important to highlight that Palestinians have more than half of their DNA derived from the Edomites and Ishmaelites, as well as other Semitic groups, while Saudi Arabs have an equally curious and interesting origin, with their own distinctive genetic composition. According to the source, Saudi Arabian Y-chromosome diversity and its relationship with nearby regions, Saudi Arabs have an ancestry that corresponds to about 69-75% to of groups related to Levantines. This data is quite interesting, as it aligns with a view presented in the Bible, which describes the descent of Abraham. According to this narrative, Abraham had six sons, from whom six tribes arose, including the Midianites, descendants of Keturah, who inhabited Saudi Arabia and other ancient regions. 
The geographical proximity of Saudi Arabia to Yemen suggests that many people in the region may also have ancient ancestry related to Joktan. This connection equates to approximately 69 to 75 percent of DNA absorbed or inherited from these populations and biblical characters, such as Midian, Joktan, and Ishmael. I hope you have enjoyed this video about the genetics of the various Arab tribes. If you wish for a video addressing the ancestral origin of Israelite DNA, part 2 with more information, or a continuation on the origin of Arabs according to genetics, or even about other ancient peoples, feel free to comment. May God bless you, and see you soon.